watching a video review from Elbros Film. Hey Elbros Filmers, another Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Nest Global Alliance video review. This time we're looking at the Voyager class Decepticon bludgeon figure. Boy, have I been waiting for this guy for a very long time. And like, woo! When we saw the pictures of from San Diego Comic Con last July, I could not believe it because I had I had known who Bludgeon was. I knew he was in the G1 comics. And when that wreckage repaint was at Toys R Us with uh, that blackout repaint, repaint, I was kind of like, eh, no, not really. So when I saw this guy, I'm like, oh, that this is gonna be awesome. And his bio is connecting with um, Rambo Ironhide here, Jungle Attack Recon Ironhide. Bio basically says that he got his ass handed to him by Whirl, and he had to rescan his body, and now he's out for uh, Rambo Ironhide. So, yeah, so I'm super excited about him. Yeah, I'll show that. So let's open him up. And here is Bludgeon in his jungle tank mode, as the box says it is. However, the box is always wrong, as this is a Japanese type tank. I don't know what it kind of is. I know Elbro2 told me before. I know PR mentions it in his review, so. Oh, excuse me. All I know is that it's a Japanese tank. Uh, he's green. He has some uh, orange here under the turret, which uh, with some black highlights on there. He's got two X's on the front of his tank mode. Why? I don't know. Uh, the turret will rotate a full 360 degrees either way. So, uh, in the back of the tank here we can see it's just flat, nice mold detailing back there, but that's about it. His gun on top will turn here. He's got missile pods on the side. Um, this is actually his sword for robot mode, and the plastic is... You can kind of see there the plastic's minorly warped. Uh, although the only way I, I think we're just supposed I'm just supposed to heat this up with a hair dryer and then bend it into its correct position, and it'll stay. So I'm gonna have to try that. And there's actually um, a hidden feature here with this. You pull this out, and it's his um, sword for robot mode, as we can see there. So anyway, we remove the um, sword from tank mode here. And it's bonus feature, Stumpy Bludgeon. As we can see here, Bludgeon now has a Stumpy turret tank. So if you want your super deformed version of Bludgeon, uh, there you go. And then it's like, turn the turret backwards. Da 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 da. Look, it's Stumpy Bludgeon. Da 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 da. Um, it's kind of silly, but uh, the sword back in there. And it goes in. There we go. Actually, this is his um, dagger right here on the side. It, you can store it inside the, the um, turret like it's stored in robot mode. However, this is nice, and it does give the tank mode a little extra oomph. Um, he does have rubber treads on the sides here, but the middle sections are plastic. And on each one of the rubber sections, the very end of the rubber, um, we have orange wheels, which allow him to roll very squeakily. Uh, there's not much on the back. Some vent detailing there and that's about it for tank mode so let's transform him um, I'm going to start by pulling off these uh, rubber bits um, yeah, ro kind of turn the turret pull these up and out Again, oops, pull this dagger out pull this Oh, you can disconnect it from this piece here. Maybe. Okay, okay, there we go. It's plugged in a little too well. Take these out. Uh, these are his legs here. Just take these down. You know, I'm going to have to move my camera back. Okay, there we go. Uh, take his crotch guard up for a moment here. Rotate this around like so. This was actually a little confusing at first to fi figure out, but then just turn this. Oops. Hey, stay. Tilt. Hmm. Tilt these back, and now rotate that in, and you will see that that clips in there very nicely. And then this was confusing. You're just supposed to tilt the legs down. That confused me because I'm not reading instructions today. I'm not in an instruction reading mood. And you just fold up the treads, close the uh, shin guards, or the, not the shin guards, the hip guards, 
And as we can see, their little thing for his sword here. Um, next, take that, pull out his feet, flip that around. Next, put his feet, close it, turn it around. Um, take that down, pull his arms out, rotate them like that. Pull his arms out, down, slap, click that into place, slap that into place, whatever you want to say. And fold his hands. Come on. And then just fold these up. We have some very nice mech alive here. You just slide this whole white bit up and his head will pop up. If I can get this to work, which it really doesn't want to, but there you go. Hope you saw that. You just boink. Click it into place. And there is Bludgeon uh, in robot mode if he will stand because his heels aren't aligned, I see. Okay. Stupid hip things. Alright. So there is Bludgeon in his robot mode. It is very nice, very evil, menacing looking. As you can see there, he looks like a skull. His head is a skull with a samurai helmet on it. It will rotate uh, like that. The arms can rotate 360 degrees. They can move, whoa! They can move in and out at the shoulder, I guess, and move in and out at the elbow, rotate the elbow. He's got a double jointed elbow there. Skimpy little arms. Um, and no waist, but his legs can move forward. Eh, they can move back, theoretically, but blocking. Uh, rotate in there, we have some mech alive, the gears are made to look like bones. He can bend at the knee, and the feet can pivot. Now, he has a mech alive feature back here, which is the coolest one I've ever seen. And you just take this piece of the tank here, and just open it up, and you get a hidden scabbard, as the package says. Just put his knife in there, and then look at all the spinning stuff in there, boom, close that up. You can take it out, kind of tilt his turret off to the side, and have him, have him like that. You can clip his sword into his hand here, if it wants to go, but it doesn't want to. And then clip his dagger into his other hand. And Bludgeon's ready to kick some Autobot butt. So definitely, this is probably the best figure in the next Global Alliance line. Um, don't see how it can get any better than this. Um, if you want to get him and Recon Ironhide, I highly suggest getting them both together. I would be getting Recon Ironhide, but I'm really saving up money uh, to get Japanese Buster Prime. Because now the Toy Fair is out. There's an American Buster Prime with the Energon hooks instead of the swords, but I'm still going for the Japan version with the chrome. And I'm saving up for Leader Starscream and the War for Cybertron stuff coming out. So, uh, yeah, definitely get Bludgeon. Great figure. Excellent, excellent figure. Definitely pick him up. Alright, see you. Elbrose Film signing off. See you guys.